What's up guys, it's Alex here, your friendly Reef Dog. And today I'm gonna to give you my honest thoughts on the GHL KH Director. Now if it's your first time here and you want weekly reefing goodness, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Right, let's get stuck in. Now I've had the GHL KH Director for a few months, so I've worked through a few kinks and I've got it well and truly bedded in. There are a lot of things to like about it, but it also has some serious flaws that do show it up as very much a first generation bit of kit. But let's start with the good stuff. Firstly, it's nice and compact and GHL have made it the same shape as all of their kit, so it stacks neatly in your cabinet. I only have the testing set up, but if you add a second GHL doser, you can set the KH Director to control your alkalinity, which will keep it far more stable than you'll ever be able to yourself with a separate doser. Whether that additional stability will have a noticeable impact on your corals, I don't know, but I love the idea of it preventing any swings that can otherwise cause problems, and of it adjusting itself to keep up with gradual increases and decreases in alkalinity consumption. It also feels really well built. It's a solid piece of kit, so I'd say GHL is the way to go if you value build quality. And the dosing unit itself has some really nice features that continue with the feeling of quality. I've had five different doses over the years and they've all only had one speed. But you can set the GHL doser to four different speeds from very slow to very fast. The slower setting allows you to dose as low as 0.1 milliliters at a time. So you can use it to add tiny amounts of trace elements like iodine. I'm currently using the spare head on a doser to add 0.3 milliliters of liquid carbon per day. It's also pretty quiet. No peristaltic pumps are silent, but this is the quietest dosing pump I've had. And while you can hear it in your living room when you run a test, it's a perfectly acceptable level. And to be fair, I've now got my tank almost silent. So if you have a buzzing skimmer or noisy fans on your lights, you might not even hear the KH Director. Now I reset my KH Director a month ago, and here is my KH graph since then, based on four tests per day. I have a maximum of 9.9 dkh, a minimum of 8.4, and an average of nine. I dose my two part in 11 lots between 10 a.m. and 9 p.m. and it's really interesting to see how KH changes over time. But that does segue into the first problem. On the mobile app, the graph isn't as easy to read as it should be. Ideally, you'd want a list of numbers showing time, date, and KH result, as well as an easy to adjust graph. But with the KH Director, the graph is all you get. And because it's a faded gray color, it doesn't really jump off the page at you, so it's a little more difficult to read. It's worth noting that Alcatronic has got this area nailed, so GHL should take note. It is easy to pinch and zoom to change the date range, and you can hover over each point to see the result. But a list of results would have been really useful, and scanning through multiple results is probably better suited to a larger screen than a mobile phone, so a tablet will be a handy addition if you get a KHD. Now that's being a little bit picky to be honest, and it might just be my own personal preference, but there are genuine issues with the GHL software, which I find a little bit clunky. I personally found setup to be a total pain in the backside, and I find the software to be pretty unintuitive, so I lean on the GHL support forum anytime I need to try a new feature. After about a month of use, one of the heads jammed on my doser and started making this lovely noise. I took it back to the shop who replaced the head and said it had got clogged with dust, which is a bit concerning to be honest, and GHL actually recommends you change all of the dosing heads every year. Now you can look at that one of two ways. One that it's great to be able to keep it running well by spending 30 quid a year to replace the only high wear parts. Or you could say a 400 pound doser shouldn't need its heads replacing every year. For me though, I admire GHL's cautious attitude to this sort of thing. It's the same story with returning reagent to your tank. GHL don't recommend you do so with a KHD because there haven't been any long-term tests to see if it affects your tank, whereas Alcatronic are a bit more blasé and just say it's fine. But there is a major flaw with a KHD and that is notifications, or rather lack thereof. When the KH Director tests, it records the result in the app, but it doesn't send you a notification. So if your test result is outside your desired range, you'll only know about it if you go into the app to check, which for me defeats the object of an automated tester. When my dosing head broke, the KH Director recorded a result of zero DKH, presumably because it didn't pull through any water from my tank to actually test. But that highlights another problem. It does doesn't do a retest if there's an obviously false result, and for that reason I don't trust it to control my alkalinity. But GHL is working on a software update to include that, and really the main problem is with notifications. If there was a genuine problem with my tank and my KH was far too low or far too high, I would want the KH director to notify me. It's like working in an office with a receptionist who doesn't put phone calls through. You'd get to the end of the day and say, quiet day Joe, no phone calls. 
and she'd say, Steve called and asked if you could get back to him before lunch. Said it was urgent. What the KHD needs is the option to have push notifications that pop up on your phone every time it runs a test. Now that could get annoying, so you'd want the option to turn those on or off, but in my opinion, it absolutely must send you a notification when a result falls outside of your desired range, so you can take action to avoid your tank crashing. Now GHL say they're currently trialling notifications, and they'll be released when they've completed their tests, so I'll put a pinned comment down below when they've done so. But the cage director has been out for over two years now, and I personally find that a bizarre omission. So would I recommend the KHD then? Now this is just my opinion and you might think differently, but because of the notifications, for now, I'd say you should either wait until they sort that, or just buy an Alcatronic instead. Now with that being said, it's not like this is a bad piece of kit. Once they sort out notifications, if you can live with slightly clunky software, it's actually pretty decent, and for what I can make out, it's significantly quieter than the Alcatronic. And for what it's worth, I still intend to buy a second GHL doser as soon as I can afford it, and I'll be getting the Ion Director when it comes out in a few months' time. If you found that useful, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next week, and until next time, happy reefing.